Apologies, I'm not in my studio today because it's closed for Christmas, but I have to talk about the game. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to squeeze in this video as I'm doing my last minute Christmas bits on Christmas Eve. Uh, Liverpool won, Arsenal won. A very, a very good game, I have to say. Great game. But there were some things I loved, some things I didn't like. Uh, so we're going to go through it bit by bit. Huge improvement from the United game a week ago. I know it's a different team. Arsenal actually wanted to win. And let me just get it out of the way now before I get annoyed on Christmas Eve. Uh, the handball. Um, I mean, <laughs> what else do you need for a handball? But uh, it's okay. No worries. We got the statement. Fucking. <laughs> That's uh, 11 wins, 6 draws, 1 loss and 2 statements this year. Thanks, PGMOL. So, uh, so we've already established that the handball, uh, that was bollocks. Well, luckily, luckily we actually got a goal. Like, luckily that was before we'd equalised, because if that handball incident had happened after we'd equalised, there would be fucking World War One, two, three. Look, I'm frazzled today, okay? It's Christmas. And then, just to finally get the things that I didn't like out of the way, um, that fucking five-on-one. I mean... It was like it was like the Mighty Ducks flying V. I'm like, yes, here it is. Here in the third period, they start back out and they form a V. I've heard of this before, but I've never seen it. It's the flying V, led by Jesse Hall. Hall up to center ice. Hall with it toward the Germany blue line. Hall. <sighs> I mean, you've got to be scoring that. Look, to be fair, Trent is the one man I would want it to fall to. If 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 anything if anything everyone was busting it busting a gut too much, you know what I mean. Everyone wanted to get on the end of it, and it was kind of like, Ugh. um, the ball just bounced just before Trent. Uh, am I shouting? The ball just bounced just before Trent connected with it. It's not really his fault. Um, oh, but you got to be scoring some of them. If if like the one the one area where we were let down today was the front three. Again, defense did their job. Midfield certainly did their job. Um, it's just not clicking at the front. I think I think at this stage, Elliot and Nunez have to start. Just 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 make it work. Just find a way to make it work. Gakpo looks off it. Uh, Salah Salah had one moment of absolute genius. Maybe genius is strong, but brilliant. And then the rest of the game, I was like, <laughs> all right, two down, two to go. Now let's talk about this defense. Okay, first of all, Kanate, absolutely fucking brilliant. Um, he was absolutely class against Martinelli. Boston. Joe Gomez, I tell you, it was written in the stars for him to score that goal. Beyond him. It's Joe Gomez! Oh, it just wasn't to be. He's getting one. We all know he's getting one. Two, if anything. Now, we're at, the, we're at Tesco's, but before I go in, I need to talk about Wataro Endo. He's fucking class. He, he for me, after Allison, is the first name on the team sheet now. He has proven that he can do it at the highest level. Took him just like, and you know what, like, with, with Klopp and his signings, normally he's given them a bit of time to bed themselves in, then he introduced them into the first team. He didn't have that luxury with the midfield this time because we needed a major transplant. He's everywhere. He does everything. He's, he's he's a fantastic number six. I'm so happy we have him. How was he so good at headers when he's so short? How was he so good? He's good at passing. He's good at tackling. He's good at everything. All right? He's good at shooting. I think I would have him nailed on whatever's happening in the, in this team, whatever rotation. If we need to play well, I'm having him in the team. And I've seen something about his stats 
with or Liverpool stats with or without him. And like, it's stark. Now, I think as a caveat to this, I think a lot of the fixtures he played in up and like, you know, recently were, um, you know, EFL or Europa League and stuff like that. So we weren't against stronger teams. But after his performance yesterday and his performance the last few weeks, 100%, I am so happy that he's, I'm so happy that he's good. Um, and then when McAllister comes back, and Bichetic and Thiago. Oh, well, lots of luck. Oh. A word on Salah's goal. Absolutely insane pass from Trent, as you'd expect. Um, and Salah versus Zinchenko. Mismatch of the century. All right, I've got me Black Forest Gatto and I've got me Crisps. But let's keep in mind as well, that was Arsenal's strongest team. We still have Matip to come back, Robertson, Bichetic, Thiago, Jota, Simikas. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling very good. There was no barcode on that Gatto. I have to get another one. Yes. We did it. I got most of what I needed. Now we just need to find a little bit of time to edit this on the sly today, in between wrapping presents and all that. Thank you very much for the support this year. Um, I am absolutely loving the channel. I'm not in the studio, as you can tell, so um, I, I hope you didn't mind. I hope you didn't mind following me around, doing me bits, and chatting a bit about Liverpool on the, in the meantime. But uh, anyway, I hope you have a great Christmas and fucking up the fucking Reds.